Welcome to the third day of the Cohere Generative AI Hackathon that we made in partnership with Cohere, uh, which is um, NLP company in uh, Canada. And we are happy to have all of you here today, uh, like builders that will build with AI during this hackathon. And I'm Alessia, and I'm a marketing manager here in lablab.ai. And I'm happy to uh, start today with presentation tricks and tips. Uh, today is very important day for all of the teams, just because um, today you will prepare your solutions and you need to record uh, your amazing project presentations. So judges will be able to evaluate it and will be able to um, choose the best team. And I'm here to tell you about presentation tricks and tips, as you may see in the presentation, and um, that will definitely help you to make your presentation better. And it, it will be easier for judges to understand what's your project about and to choose the best team. Uh, my experience here is um, about analyzing and watching and evaluating all the presentation from previous hackathon and really we had a lot we have more than 300 projects submitted on lablab.ai uh, website so we we have a lot of experience with bad and really good presentations and we collected to you all these tips uh, in one presentation so you will be able to um, learn from somebody's mistakes and make your presentation better and we are moving on and Really, the most important what I want to tell for you today is about the length of presentation. Try, please, to not make it uh, longer than five minutes as we have in requirements, uh, because just imagine we have a hackathon, we have around 200, uh, part 2,000 participants, sorry, and we have around 100 teams, right? And all these teams will make their presentation, they will submit their projects, and each of the presentation, um, every judge needs to check, need to evaluate somehow. So it's the, it's the hours of uh, checking the content. So make sure to make it really dynamic, really fast, and really informative, and no longer than five minutes, because it's super boring really to uh, check the presentation that is much more longer. On previous hackathon, we had a team that made a 20 minutes long presentation. Really, it's impossible to watch, guys. Make it no longer than five minutes. And now we will move on to the structure. And uh, while I'm moving to the structure, and I will describe uh, for you how the perfect structure of your presentation should looks like. Please uh, write in the chat, how are you today? And maybe you will send one emoji that can describe uh, your feeling today before submitting your project. And also, I see we do not have really a lot of people here. So this stream will be uh, recorded and you will be able to come back and to check the uh, tips and tricks to make the perfect presentation. So yeah, it will be open for you. And also, every uh, team have the possibility to check the framework that we have for you on our blog on lablab.ta website, uh, which is the article about perfect presentation, uh, where AI Girl explains you how to make your presentation good and how to make it fit to all requirements. And in this uh, blog post, you have PDF file with the presentation. So you may go there and check uh, whether your presentation fits to all requirements and is it smooth enough, is it uh, informative informative enough. A uh, link to this, um, to this article, Nasty, which is our community manager, will send you uh, with the email before, a uh, like few hours before you need to submit your project. I'm not sure, maybe you already got it. But still, it's on our blog. You may have the framework, but also very basic uh, but still important framework is here behind me. So what you need to do uh, and what you need to put in your presentation to make it uh, very good and to make us understand what's your project about. First of all, it's introduction. Tell who are you, uh, what's, uh, what is your team? Uh, where are you based? Uh, which is important for us and also your background. It's probably the most important part. 
Um, did you work uh, before with AI? Maybe you are in a, an AI engineer. Maybe you are SEO, uh, CEO of the company. Maybe you are designer, whatever. We just want to know, and it's really interesting information to know, uh, with which solutions people from different fields uh, may have came up. So just make sure to include your background, uh, your name, and your experience in introduction. Second uh, tips, then it's not a tip even, it's the part of your presentation that uh, must be included. It's a problem and solution. In this hackathons, we are um, aimed to solve real existing problems uh, using the power uh, of artificial intelligence tools. And for this hackathons, we are working on generative AI tools, working with generative AI itself. So. Um, we are really happy when people use this model to solve the real existing problems, like the to to create a bot that can help you with I don't know with support on your business or uh, create a bot that we know of, uh, the team mental health. Just for for example, they um, they was on our hackathon three three hackathon in a row, and they working on creating a bot that can give you. Um, mental support so it's like both before your visit to psychologist so that's um really solutions that can help you with something that can help um, to solve some problems that uh, weren't able to solve before and um maybe it can automate somebody's uh, task maybe it can uh it can um i don't know make just your life better and more fun so just describe the problem that you find and describe the solution uh, that you uh, was working on during this hackathon and how AI can help to solve the problem uh, and how did you yeah, how did you create an AI tool that can help to solve the problem and also uh, make sure to include um, some information about your target audience for whom you make this solution for whom you made this project which is also very important in terms of the uh, last um, tip I have here. Uh, it's about business model, but still it's important to know who will be your customer for this app. And then it will be much more easier for us to evaluate the perspective of your project. Third point is uh, technical details. It's mostly for uh, our technical mentors that's extremely important to know how complex is your project uh, because if we have two solutions we for sure choose the as a winner the one that have more complex project and use more tools and use more uh, i don't know more moderators between tools uh, it's always very valuable for us to see how passionate people can be with ai and how great and complex solution they can build so um just create for us simple structure of your project, how it looks like, and list the solutions and list the tools that you use to make this project. For uh, people who are more uh, from tech side, it's just basic project architecture. And the fourth part is your product demo. I'd say is the most funny part here. Uh, make sure to record how you play with your project. A project demo is also very important the part to put in your submission on the website. I will talk about, uh, about it a bit later, but still um, just play and just record how you work on your project, how your project looks in action, if it's possible, hopefully it is. Um, it's always the most funny part and usually when I'm looking for a presentation, I'm just trying to scroll, scroll to the, to the part when, when you will talk, uh, you will show us your project demo. And uh, the last, not the least, uh, the least, but still business model. If you plan to commercialize your project, if you plan to go further uh, with your project, it's extremely important that for us to see that you understand how this this project can be commercialized, how this project can um, go and create a business with it, create your startup with this project. So um, think about business model. Think about how uh, you can make money with this project if you want to make money uh, with, with it or how it can be really useful for your customers, which integrations you may have in the future, which plans you have with your project in the future, how you want to develop your project after the hackathon if you plan to do it. 
make sure uh, to have a few hours and to think with your team about the future of your project and your business model. And uh, it's actually also uh, very important for you if you want to go next and if your this submission on the website, it will be like your portfolio because you have your user profile and in user profile you have all submissions that you made and you may use our platform as your portfolio and if you send it to um for example your recruiter or to your uh, future um, employer or to investors uh, if you have a business model it will be much more easier to pitch your project because this presentation actually will be your project pitch so um yeah, take your time and work on your business model. Let's move on and just a um, few maybe very useful uh, useful tools you can use for record uh, your presentation. And it just listed here. You have it also in this project presentation template um, that was sent to you via email. Um, just just to make your life easier you may simply also use just microsoft um, teams or google meets to record the presentation but what's really important here is to make sure that the quality of sound and the quality of your rough your presentation itself is uh, good enough because if the quality is not so well it's we even don't want to watch it. If you are not interested in watching your presentation, if for you it don't look so well, uh, why why the those um, judges needs to do it? So just take some time also to test and to be sure that the quality of sound of your microphone and of the picture is well, and uh, then you can upload your recording to the platform. Let's move on. And um, yeah, we, we prepared for you submission checklist, which is on the website when you're trying to submit your project. But still, just for you don't to fo not fo to forget about uh, important stuff that you need to prepare before you will make your submission on the lab lab. Uh, it's very simple. So it's project description that will be vis visible on the website. As presentation for sure pre prepared in PDF format or whatever fo format it's uh, you, good for you and it will be easier for us to check the presentation and then it's recorded video of your presentation should be like just you play your presentation using the structure we give to you and uh, also then you include the demo um, and make this video as your your project pitch so you don't need to go for a call and to go to submit it between, like in front of the judges you just need to record it and then we'll check your project it's a project demo link here is really important and tricky moment um if we can't play with your project if we can't check how it works um ourselves by ourselves it's extremely hard to um, emulate your project here. And uh, now what we see that we can't actually choose the winner, to choose it as a top uh, team, if you do not have your link to your demo, because we have nothing to like to emulate, you know, only the presentation you have. So it's really um, important stuff to include your project demo link then everybody can click and go and play with your project um, to use this to create a demo as we told on the kickoff stream and we keep talking all the time you may use whatever platform you want we recommend uh, streamlit and Replit as the platforms that we know and uh, there will be easy for you to make the demo um, so just for you to know that it's uh, really, really tremendous, uh, really important stuff. So just make sure that you have it. And then we don't need to go and ask you to add this demo link to the submission. And GitHub repo link. If you don't want to make it um, open, don't want to make it visible for everyone, um, just let us know and we will talk to you about it. Maybe we can figure out the way to make to give access only for our judges to check when you started working on your project uh, was it before the hackathon or is uh, when the hackathon was started officially or some other stuff that we need to check um, if mentors have some doubts um, or if 
if we have some uh, maybe guests that you may cheat, we need to go and check. So if you don't want to share the link with us, uh, still contact us about it. If you didn't contact us and you don't want to include it in any way, we can't invalidate your project and can't uh, like consider you to be a winner of the hackathon. And I'm moving on to importantly part of this presentation. Um, it's it, it's not you know obvious, but it's important for you first of all, not so much for us. Um, as I told you, this project is your portfolio, and if we have people who are interested in developing AI as we are, and they go to your profile, they ch check the project, and they see that they are extremely interested in one of the projects. And let's say they want to contact you, but on your profile, you have nothing uh, more than just uh, your username and maybe a generated picture, and that's it. Uh, it will be very hard for the person to contact you and to find you. Um, what we uh, want to ask you is to, before or even after you made the submission, before the finish of the hackathon, fill out your profile. Put your link for all social media you have or the social media you want to communicate with people there. Uh, for example, LinkedIn, Twitter, you may put the Twitter link also. Mm, um, whatever you have, maybe you have your personal profile uh, website. I mean, if you have your personal website you want to share, do it on the Lab Lab profile. Uh, add a picture. If not your picture, AI generated, no problem. Uh, and also add a few lines of your description of who you are, what are you working on, what's your background. Because if, for example, uh, even not for submission, but after the hackathon or if you will start the next hackathon with Lab Lab, people, uh, when they looking for a member in the team, it's either for them to choose the member to invite you to the team when they know your background, right? When they know who you are and how you can help the team to win. And yeah, just put short description about you, put the links, make sure that everything works and it'll be fine. And also for me, it's easier to tag you on LinkedIn to say how, how we love you, how much we love you for making your submission for work and for your hard work you know, during these uh, weekends on your projects. And if I do not have your LinkedIn link in your profile, it's extremely hard for me to find you because you know, you know the stuff and you need to search somebody on the LinkedIn without knowing just uh, blah blah username. Put your LinkedIn link, please. And uh, make sure that you connected your blah blah profile to Discord. Also, in previous hackathon, we had a um, small problem. With, we had an issue with teams that uh, could won the hackathon. We want to invite them to winning stream winner, like stream with finalists. And we can't do that because person didn't contact Discord. So we have no ways to communicate. We were writing to email. You usually do not reply on your emails or we can go to spam folder. So to make it a communication between our team and uh, your team better, please add your Discord uh, username and connect your Discord. In that case, uh, it will be much more easier uh, for us to contact you in case you win the hackathon. Yes. Okay. And uh, what I have left here is just to wish you okay. It's not visible for you. I'll make it better. Hopefully now it's better. Um, no. Okay. Here is have fun and innovate with AI. Right. So guys, um, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have any questions, feel free to write to me, write to Nasty or right here on in the chat. Thank you so much for joining the um, presentation tricks and the hacks talk.